Welcome to the predicted 11 for Saturday afternoons away trip to the Hawthorns after that fantastic win on Wednesday night. The green screen's back. Why not? Let's get into the team. So to start off between the nets in the gloves got to be Fraser Forster. By all accounts made a good account of himself again on Wednesday night. Looks like his confidence is slowly creeping back to the old Fraser that we know. Little unorthodox at times and we thought that he made a save of the season but it was actually tipped onto the post from Martin Kelly's strike. But nonetheless, great performance again on Wednesday and he will retain his place in the nets on Saturday. Into the back four then, let's go with Cedric Suarez in at right back. Speaking to a few fans outside St Mary's on Wednesday, he was nominated their man of the match and undoubtedly he made a great account of himself getting up and down that right hand wing, taking a few strikes but missing the target but nonetheless and certainly impressing everybody around Europe. Into the centre back pair and then I backed Stevens and Yoshida to play in the previous match against Palace and I think I'm going to go with the same again. Stevens and Yoshida to play and partner themselves together on Saturday. Once again, we've been calling for Caceres to play. When is he going to play? Hopefully he makes an appearance, but I think Puel is going to keep consistent with the team selection. They're enjoying their football right now and making a good account of themselves. Yoshida has got on the score sheet against Palace and he will be full of confidence going into West Brom. Finishing off the back four then, let's go with Sam McQueen to retain his place at the Hawthorns. By all accounts, and what I'm assuming is that Ryan Bertrand won't be fit by Saturday. Of course, missed out by an injury on Wednesday night against Palace. And I imagine Powell will want to keep consistent with Sam McQueen. Made a good account of himself, although Nick given him a lot of stick on the verdict. Let us know your thoughts of that in the comments. But Sam McQueen to retain his place up at the Hawthorns. Into midfield, then the centre of the park. This is where Claude is pushed for changes. And let's start off with Geordie Classy to replace Stephen Davis. Davis picked up a knock against Palace and may not be fit and will be assessed in a very late fitness test uh, on Saturday before the match. But I'm going to stick my neck out and go Geordie Classy to play for the first time in quite a few weeks. He's desperate to get on the pitch and hopefully he impresses on Saturday. Alongside Jordi Classy, then let's go with Pierre-Emile Hoiberg to replace suspended Oriol Romeu. who picked up his 10th yellow card of the season against Palace and we will miss him sorely. We know what to expect from Oriol. He gets stuck in and he's the glue to keep the midfield and uh, the link between the defence to the attack. Loves a great touch on the ball as well, Oriol, but hopefully Pierre-Emile Hoiberg will relish his chance to get back on the pitch. Made a few cameos recently, hopefully he can impress at the Hawthorns on Saturday. Into the attacking midfield then on the right hand side of the park has got to be James Ward Prowse. People compared him to David Beckham earlier this week. We rely on his dead ball ability from set pieces, from corners free kicks and has got a fantastic whip on that right boot of his. Has certainly improved and for me has been the most improved player this season. Into the number 10 position, the playmaker Finally, he completed 90 minutes on Wednesday night and hopefully he can continue that again on Saturday. Dusan Tadic to sit in the hole and he was certainly a thorn in the Crystal Palace side on Wednesday night. Hopefully he can continue that at the Hawthorns, getting himself into great positions, cutting the ball back into people just waiting and queuing up in the box to tap that in. So hopefully another assist or two will go down really well up at the Hawthorns. Finishing off the midfield then, let's go with Nathan Redmond. Certainly silencing those early critics from earlier on the season. Went missing a few times before Christmas, but he's high on confidence. Got himself on the score sheet against Crystal Palace and hopefully he can retain a good run of form up at the Hawthorns, get himself into good positions, knocking it home once again. And finishing off the starting 11, let's go with Shane Long. Was so unlucky not to score against Palace on Wednesday. Hopefully that confidence, get himself into great positions, taking one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Maybe he can score against his old club up the Hawthorns on Saturday afternoon. So that wraps it up then for my predicted starting 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you make of my team selection which players would you replace from the injuries and suspensions that we have ready for Saturday and maybe even into next week and as always if you like the video leave it a like and subscribe for more